What makes a man irresistible to women? Is it his confidence, his sense of humor, or his good looks? While these qualities certainly play a role, there's one trait that stands out above the rest. It's something unique, something rare, yet incredibly attractive to women of all ages. In this video, we would go fully into the sexiest masculine trait that women find ridiculously hot. It's not just about charm or charisma, it's about setting boundaries. Yes, you heard it right, boundaries. It might sound surprising, but the ability for a man to clearly communicate what he will and will not accept is undeniably irresistible to women. Understanding this trait could be the key to unlocking a whole new level of attraction with the opposite sex. So, are you ready to become the kind of man women can't resist? Then stay tuned. But before we get into it, you should hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. You see, boundaries are like a magnetic force that draws women in. They're not just rules or limitations, but rather a sign of strength and self-respect. When a man knows his boundaries and isn't afraid to enforce them, it's like catnip for women. And best believe it when we say it's really simple. But here's the kicker. Most guys completely miss the mark on this one. They're too busy trying to impress with flashy gestures or cheesy pickup lines. But the truth is, women are looking for something deeper, something real. So why are boundaries so irresistible? Well, it's simple. They show that you value yourself and won't settle for anything less than you deserve. And let's be honest, there's nothing sexier than a man who knows his worth. Now we know what you're thinking. How do I set boundaries without coming off as a jerk? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Let's start with an instance. Imagine you're out on a date with a stunning woman and she starts testing your limits. Maybe she tries to pressure you into buying her an expensive drink or insists on going somewhere fancy for dinner. Now. Most guys would cave under the pressure, eager to please their date, but not you. No, you're different. You calmly but firmly assert your boundaries, letting her know that you won't be taken advantage of. And guess what? She respects you even more for it, because deep down, every woman wants a man who isn't afraid to stand his ground and put himself first. But boundaries aren't just about saying no. They're also about expressing your needs and desires in a clear and confident manner. Whether it's telling your partner that you need some alone time or setting boundaries with friends who constantly overstep, it's all about asserting yourself in a respectful way. Let's get into the most frequent examples and how best you can establish boundaries. Number one, buy me a drink. You're at a bar, you approach a woman, and right off the bat, she demands you to buy her a drink. What do you do? Now, most guys would whip out their wallets without a second thought, eager to please the pretty girl. But here's the thing, doing so actually makes you lose her respect. Instead, try responding with something like, sure, I'll buy you a drink if I find you interesting, or does that usually work on other guys? This not only denies her request, but also maintains a fun and playful vibe, showing her that you're not just another guy who'll do anything for her attention. Moving on to number two, the expensive date request. Sure, there's nothing wrong with treating a woman to a fancy dinner, if that's what you genuinely want to do and can afford. But if she insists on an expensive date as a prerequisite to going out with you, it's time to put your foot down. Let her know that you won't splurge money just for a chance to meet her. Suggest an alternative plan like grabbing coffee at a cozy cafe or having a casual dinner at a local spot. This not only sets the tone that you won't be manipulated, but also helps you gauge if she's genuinely interested in you beyond material things. Number three, let's get to know each other first. You've been chatting with a girl, and when you ask her out, she responds with, let's get to know each other first before we meet. Now many guys just go along with it, fearing they might upset her or lose her interest. But here's the truth. It's a huge mistake. Are you trying to be her pen pal or her date? You can't really get to know someone over text, right? So the next time she says she's not ready to meet, suggest meeting in person, even if it's just for a quick coffee. You're not pushing her, just expressing what you want. If meeting in person feels too soon, suggest a phone call instead. Asking for her number shows you're interested in taking things to the next level. And if meeting face to face is what you believe will build a stronger connection, don't be afraid to voice that. Setting boundaries here is about being honest about your intentions and desires, not about pressuring her or being aggressive. It's about finding a balance between what you want and respecting her pace. Remember, 
Expressing your boundaries early on saves you from investing time and effort into something that may not go anywhere. And if she's genuinely interested, she'll appreciate your honesty and willingness to communicate openly. So don't be afraid to speak up and make your intentions clear. Number four, dealing with the flaky girl. Now just imagine that you've made plans with a girl, but at the last minute, she cancels on you. Now, if she offers a genuine reason, like she forgot about something, you might consider giving her another chance. But hold up. It's very important to let her know that flaking isn't cool. You've got to strike a balance between being calm yet firm. So, how do you handle it? Instead of getting all worked up, respond with something like, totally all right, no hard feelings. However, my time is valuable to me, and I hope you'll respect that in the future. This communicates that you value yourself and your time, and she shouldn't take you for granted. If she's genuinely interested, she'll learn from it and be more considerate next time. And if not, well, it's time to move on and make a clean break. Number five, dealing with insulting behavior. Banter can be fun and build chemistry, but there's a line between playful teasing and outright insults. If a girl crosses that line, especially if she's targeting something you're passionate about or your friends, it's time to speak up. In a calm but assertive tone, let her know that her behavior isn't acceptable. You might say something like, I don't appreciate you talking to me like that, or I won't allow you to talk to me like that. These are my friends. That's my work. By setting this boundary, you show her that you won't tolerate disrespect. It's understandable that many guys hesitate to confront such behavior, fearing they might upset the girl. But here's the thing. Allowing someone to disrespect you without consequences only drives their respect for you further. Don't fall into that trap. Whether it's your first date or you've been together for years, respect is non-negotiable. Number six, the clothing dilemma. You could be in a relationship with a woman and you notice she's posting revealing pictures online or going out wearing skimpy dresses. Now maybe you're not comfortable with it. And that's okay. So what should you do? You might come across different opinions online. Some say, let her wear what she wants. Others say, put a stop to it. Here's our take. A woman has the right to wear whatever she chooses, but if it makes you uneasy as her partner, it's essential to express that. Number seven, the ex problem. Imagine you're dating someone new, but you find out they're still in touch with their ex. It's a situation that can really bring up some uncertainty. So how should you address it? First off, it's important to understand that staying in contact with an ex isn't always a red flag. However, it could indicate unresolved feelings. The best approach is to have an open conversation about it. Sit down with your partner and calmly express your discomfort with the situation. Setting boundaries here doesn't mean demanding change. It's about sharing your feelings and understanding each other's perspectives. Maybe her ex is still a significant part of her life, and that's okay. What matters is mutual respect and understanding. Number eight, the clinger. Now say your girlfriend wants to spend every waking moment with you, leaving little room for your own activities or time with friends. It's understandable if this feels suffocating. Many guys avoid addressing issues because they fear upsetting their partner. They bottle up their feelings until they explode, leading to fights or even breakups. But it doesn't have to be this way. The key is simple. Communicate your boundaries calmly and firmly. Yes, it might upset her momentarily, but it's essential for a healthy relationship. If she truly cares about you, she'll understand the need for space and respect your boundaries. We've given you a bunch of examples today to drive this point home. Whether it's about setting limits on spending, handling ex-partners or needing alone time, expressing your boundaries is important. It shows strength and independence, which women find incredibly attractive. And here's the kicker. Expressing your boundaries not only earns you respect, but also helps filter out incompatible partners. If she can't respect your boundaries, she's not the right fit for you anyway. Alright guys, we've come to the end of this video. See you in our next video.